Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and some glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, and great millstone. Appreciate the word, truth, me, and sincerely. Shalom to the Hakim, scattered through the four corners of the globe. Appreciate his word, truthfully, and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird. Appreciate his word, truthfully, and sincerely. And I say Shabbat Shalom to you, uh, Akim out there. And this is a quick sit down lesson on this uh, Shabbat, March the 10th, 2022, on this uh, Thursday afternoon. And the title of this quick down. I mean, Salakia, and the title of this quick uh, sit-down lesson on this Shabbat is going to be named uh, The Lord of Hosts Shall Continue Increasingly uh, Visit This Earth With Storms and the Vows and Flames of Fire. And this is a news article right here from March the 9th, 2022. Uh, 3.59 a.m. Central Standard Time was last updated a day ago and it's from Reuters.com and the highlight of this news article and it reads Australia declares East Coast floods a national emergency and it says uh, Sydney, Australia March 9th, Australia a national emergency on Wednesday, in response to the devastating floods along its east coast in designated catastrophic zones and towns swept away by swollen rivers, uh, Australia is becoming a harder country to live in because of the natural disasters. This says Prime Minister Scott Morris, Morrison said on Wednesday after uh, touring the worst hit northern re uh, rivers in the South Wales of Australia. The emergency declaration was set up after a Australia's disruptive 2019 brush fires will help cut red tapes and speed up a amending criticism about a slow response to the floods in which at least 21 people had died during that time. It says frustration of residents in the northern rivers with uh, access to power and internet for several days. I meant to say with, right, uh, let me read again for edification's sake. Uh, frustrated residents in the northern rivers with no access to power and internet for several days and have blamed authorities for the slow speed and scale of relief efforts. Morrison, who is trailing in the polls ahead a federal election before May, kept media away from his meetings with flood victims, which he said was to protect their privacy. It says television footage shows some gather in front of an emergency operations. Central Morris uh, visit yelling, the water is rising. Um, no one, no more compromising and fossil fuel floods. <clears throat> it says Morrison conservative government late last year adopted a net zero carbon emissions target by 2015 but climate experts are demanding more aggressive action it says speakers to reporters morrison links the devastation to climate change it's really not climate change it's, it's the most high yahweh thy power the lord of hosts that, that does these things it's the scripture i'm about to bring out you know to sh to prove you and, sh and shows that it's not climate change it's the Heavenly Father, you know, he the one that does these things, you know. It says, uh, he said, uh, also caused earlier brush uh, fire holographics. But he went on to say the great uh, challenge was reduce other countries' emissions. What will save people is flood migrations 
if I pronounce that right, Slocky, works rather than tougher curbs on Osprey's message, he said. So, you know, I'm not really going to get into all that. So, you know, I was just uh, bringing out this news article of, uh, you know, you're going to continue to see more of these uh, floods, more of these uh, earthquakes in diverse places, more uh, wildfires. I believe recently it was one in North Korea or parts of South Korea. I believe it was about a couple of days ago. So, you know, you have Bashimel Shai, he's doing these things. Because, you know, this is the year of uh, 2022 of how Bashimel Shai is turning up the heat on things. And he been showing that, you know, you're going to see more increase of these uh, floodings, these uh, earthquakes in diverse places. And it was uh, recently uh, two earthquakes, I believe it was in uh, Iran. It was like a 4.9 magnitude. But you're going to see the increase through the upcoming months that's coming up ahead. You're going to see the increase of these uh, earthquakes and these high magnitudes of earthquakes around the world. That's going to cause a lot of damage, you know. And these are the signs of the times that we're living in. And it's going to increase and intensify, especially with the weather, you know. Because, yeah, about Shemel Shai, you know, he do all these uh, storms. These uh, earthquakes and heavy damage tornadoes, just like recently, not too long ago. You know, the Heavenly Father did that uh, earthquake. I mean, not the earthquake, uh, that tornado over there in uh, Iowa, the Midwest region of Iowa. You know, that earthquake killed about like uh, seven people and injured 15, you know. And, you know, he can do more damage than that, you know. You know, that's why, you know, the Lord of hosts is going to continue to, to visit this place, you know, well, wildfires, storms, earthquakes in diverse places around the world, you know, it's going to continue to increase in the last days, you know, and I'm going to bring out the scripture right here to close it out, see if, uh, uh See if this is the right scripture. Yep, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6, and it reads, Thou shalt be visit of the Lord of hosts with thunder and earthquakes and great noise with storms and tempests and the flames of the and fire, right? Because you're seeing these uh, storms that do uh, heavy, significant damage. Just like I brought out that article right there, you know, they uh, declared an emergency national declaration emergency over there in Australia, you know, because, you know, they uh, got hit, hit with those heavy floods over there, you know, and you're going to continue to see more heavy floods and damages around the whole world. And that's what we are currently seeing that right now, because, you know, throughout the years, it's starting to increase more and more damaging you know these storms do more heavy damage you know these uh heavy winds that's blow you know a lock knock out a lot of stuff like the power lines knock off houses destroy homes destroy businesses and destroys everything that's why i brought out the scripture you know it refers a reference to that in the book of isaiah 29 to 6 you know because the lord of hosts the yahweh bashim al shai he the one that uh does these things you know like the scripture says, I roughly paraphrase, you know, this earth is his footstool. You know, he the one that control these things. You know, he the control of all things, you know. And it's not mother nature and it's not climate change. It's Yahweh Bashim al Shah that does these things. And he's going to continue to do these things, you know. Right, he's going to continue to do these uh, earthquakes, these earthquakes in diverse places around the world, these uh, heavy storms, these heavy earthquakes around the world in diverse places at a high magnitude rate, you know, you're going to continue to see these uh, wildfires, just like in uh, Portland, you've been seeing that, uh, California, parts of California, you've been seeing that, parts of uh, Korea, you're going to see it in many other places as well, too, around the world. You're going to see a whole bunch of wildfires, a whole bunch of uh, damaging high magnitude of earthquakes, you know. 
you're going to see all these things in the last days is going to intensify and it's going to increase, you know. So with that, you know, that's all I wanted to bring out on this quick sit down lesson on this Shabbat. March the 10th, 2022, on this Thursday afternoon on the Shabbat, you know. So, you know, like I was mentioning before again, you know, uh, the sit down of this uh, lesson. Uh, to let you know, you know, in the last days, uh, the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shem El Shai, you know, he's is going to increase of these, uh, you know, these earthquakes and great storms of the virus of flame and fire is going to increase in these last days, you know. And so with that, uh, I hope this is edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shad, Bahashim, Rakar Kadash, double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. Shout out to the Akim that be like on um, to the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shabbat Shalom.